Well, leaving the house now. Gonna go check that field that, not really a field, more of a pasture that Hanson and I got permission to hunt on and where we're gonna be going in the morning. So, going there now, gonna meet up with Hanson. And hopefully these birds are gonna roost where they did last night. Cause if they do, we got a really good chance at getting one down in the morning. So, gonna drive over to the spot quick and be there soon. What's up, man? We need to find my bow target, though, for real. What was the score to your game? Eight rip. Wow. Hit a dinger off me, no big deal. Did someone hit a home run <laughs> off you? All right, so we just went and picked up our licenses and we checked the spots multiple times and there hasn't been any activity in them tonight. I mean, we saw them there all last night and all all this morning and they were strutting away and there was four gobblers in there, but um, it's a little sketchy just not seeing them the night before, but I'm not, I'm not too worried, but. I am. <laughs> Ty's gonna come over tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. and we're gonna try and get in the blind as early as possible and hopefully there's gobbling right off the roost and we just missed them going into it. Um, with anything, we'll put put a few down in the morning. We got a few. We only got two <laughs> tails. <laughs> we do plan on doubling up, though. Honestly, I think we really could. Yeah, but a few. <laughs> That's all I got. Finally, just got to Hanson's. Gonna go see if he's awake. He sent me a high this morning, but. That doesn't mean too much. Usually it's right at the door, so I'm gonna head over there. Looks like he's got his chair out already. That's a good sign. Hello? <laughs> doesn't even feel like it this morning. Like we're hunting? Doesn't feel right. It's so nice outside too. Yeah, the rain's gonna, it's like a 50% chance at 10 now. That's sick, that's gonna help us out so much. I know. Cause I feel like they would've just hunkered down if it was gonna rain. But, so we got this, we got my ball. Did you bring a chair or no? Yeah, I got a chair. We should be good then. All right, well, let's Should get after it. All right in the in the yeah, I gotta down. unload the coop. It's April 17th. <laughs> um, we got out this morning. Ty came over about 5 o'clock, and I, I was just really worried, honestly, just because we didn't see the birds last night or anything. And I mean, they were there yesterday morning, but just not seeing him go up into the roost last night got us really worried. But uh, he came over. Uh, we still had high hopes for the morning. And sure thing, we get into the blind. And I say to Ty, just, I hope this isn't a bust. And five seconds later, they just start popping off, and they're going crazy right now. Um, feeling probably three to four birds in there right now. They're just scattered along that ridge over there. Um, what I think is going to happen is there's a, a creek right over here and they fly over that so they honestly might just swoop right into this field and then we're going to be in the game right off the bat.
Might be a Jake. It's a Jake. Oh, and another one just came down. Dad. Oh, another one's coming down. Another one came down. Mm-hmm. I think there's another one, not the look on the screen, so you know you I think that one's done if you can look at it. It's got a red really white head. Tommy boy, do something. There's a bunch of deer over here, dude. There's like 10 deer. Okay. Well, we had some bad news. <laughs> All those turkeys are heading the other way. Did not think that was going to happen, but <laughs> I don't know what plan B is. Hopefully they just come back. I mean, they're working into that woods right now. I don't know what they're going to do though. We've seen so many deer. That time he was big. I kind of figured though that when he came out with all those hens it was going to be tough to pull him away and I don't even know if they saw those, saw our decoys. Um, they weren't over to over here until 7.40 and right now it's 7.10 so I mean it still could have time but oh but it starts to, you start to lose confidence in these situations. Probably come out alone tomorrow, I usually have better luck. <laughs> Well, we uh, had a little change of plans. Those birds worked off, they're still in groups, so we're just kind of driving around the area. And we have an idea where the birds we saw this morning are, so we asked permission for that spot. And the landowner just gave us permission. But on his way to his house, we also saw more birds, a lot strutting actually back that way. We asked him about that field and he owned that too, so we got permission for a lot of land. Like how many acres do you think it? Uh, I think it's a little over 300, but right now we're just heading back to my place. We're going to grab the decoys and he has a field road that's going to kind of perch us right up next to where we can go. So it'll, we can, it'll be like an easy spot to stop too because there's a bunch of trees and a, a good tree line that we can stay right hidden in. So if any luck. 
like there could be a few goblins, a couple of goblins on the ground. What are you doing? Two arrows? Yeah, grab that bag too. crawl up to this new spot. I'm underneath the cedar hands. It's about 20 yards from me. Decoys are in the middle of us. We crawled up. I crawled up and put the decoys up to where the toms can see them. Now they're both looking down at our decoys and they've been replying to my calling. Looks like they're starting to work their way this way so I bet if we just wait a little bit they're gonna come straight in so I gotta change my battery. It's going down fast. Well, unfortunately, we had to back out on these birds, but um, we were up and we were close to them. I mean, they were 100 yards away, but they saw our decoys. We tied prone up to the to the edge of the tree line. We got the decoys out, so we figured they were all hemmed up. Yeah, we didn't spook them or anything. No, we didn't spook them at all. I didn't want to screw up this new piece after just, just getting a hold of it. So we're going to work our way back to the car, maybe drive around a little bit more and see if we can't find something else. But... Stick with us, T4 Sawbillas. <laughs> 